I got this over the Easter weekend. Uh, it's on the sale in Hornby. Uh, only ten pounds. So I thought, oh, I'll get that. Bit of a waste of my money at the moment, but uh, you can't really pass up an opportunity like that. I'll just open the box here before I completely open it. We've got here um, two colorations: the wartime and the civilian one. Uh, three flying hours, skill level three. You've got the paints on this side, a little bit of history there, tiny bit. Oh, uh, you've got uh, length is 273 millimeters, width is 400 millimeters, and there's 142 parts in this. We'll turn it over here. We've got some CAD photos of the Dakota here, which is uh, the new tool in one. Um, also, we've got here. Uh, I'm gonna wish put the glasses on now. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't see that. You may be able to see that. If I bring that close to the camera, you'll be able to see that there. And also, you can see in the corner here, we've got cartograph details of it. Decals, details, decals, Alan. You silly. Ah, well, let's open the box. Have a look inside. Uh, again, I'm looking at the picture. There's no signature on this picture. Uh, this may be a photograph actually looking at it it doesn't seem to be painted this might be a photograph anyway nice photo on the front anyway nice picture in here we got again we've got a nice full bag in here this is the same size box as the uh, oh, which one was it there uh, the Meteor so nice big box of the stuff and uh, we've got a lot of decals here. As I said, they'll kind of go up on the side, but they don't actually say on here, I don't think. No. No, it doesn't say on there. But they are kind of graph. We'll have a quick look at the instructions first. That was sort of through the parts. Right, the usual bump on the front and back. This is history and that sort of thing. Uh, let's have a look in here. Right, we've got a new layout of the instructions a lot of cabin work to do oh, it's got pilots in it as well it's nice uh, well this is the military one this would be the military one uh, with the seats in it so uh, on the side and the cargo bay as well seats in optional uh, uh, seats you can have as well they're folded flat or open, depending on what you want to do. I actually have a Dakota, uh, a 48 scale one, the Ravel one, and I've got all the troops to go in it as well. So this one will be the civilian one, uh, which is what I was planning on doing. But looking at it, let me just have a quick back. No, it doesn't actually. Oh, I missed a page or something, yeah. No. Engine details going together. External pieces going together here. Unless the civilian transport is the same as the uh, military one with seats down either side, I wouldn't have thought so. I would not have thought so, but apparently it is. Uh, right, 1955 Dakota. Uh, this is a 1942 Dakota here, which is the uh, military one. And the civilian one here. And we've got some more on here. What's this? Oh, the uh, this is the stencil pattern here as well on here. So, not too bad looking at that. I don't know how I was in shot of that, because I, I was looking at the instructions not the uh, um not the cam one i should have done and i'll come in a bit here if i can onto these uh the decals uh again i can feel them but they're very light lightly coated um numbers here 
her letters, or her letters I should say, are open. There's no film between them. Uh, these ones have film between them. Uh, the air service has um, complete coverage of the lettering on it. And same with the lettering here, this is fully incorporated. Uh, we've got some commons on the side here with the stencils, uh, dashboard and that. You'll probably never see that inside. But uh, I thought they were white, they're not, they're silver. <laughs> they're actually silver decals here as well, um, black ones. That's probably for the underside black section for the silver. Uh, you know, nice stripes for the windows as well. Uh, all in all, that looks very nice. Again, well, it's kind of rough. It would be nice. <laughs> all in register. Colours look nice. I don't know about the transparency of the colours. We'll have to look at that when we come to build the thing. It'll be a while before I build this particular one. But I just wanted it in my stash. Open this up here and come out. Yeah, what a bag of clear with the windows in. I'll have a look at that in a minute. And then put that over there. And we'll have a look at these two sprues because uh, the first one here. Right, first fuselage side. What we've got here is a nice um, recessed panel lining. Let me just get this open here. And we've got. Uh, not very deep. My, my knife is actually skipping out of the, the trench, so it's not that deep, but it's nice and clean and sharp. Uh, we got some nice rib detail on the elevators uh, for the canvas covering. Um, and I can feel... Is that, is that my finger or is that... No, it's smooth. It's actually smooth. I, I thought I felt some fabric there, but I, it's actually smooth. It's just probably rippled out aluminium. Uh, sheeting over the top again here we've got elevators that are separate uh, ailerons not separate um, all in one ailerons here as well but again some nice panel lining on here um, the floor got some nice detail in it uh, elevators uh, the non movable sections uh, Again, the recess panel lining on it. On here we have uh, the pin marks on this side. Um, there are no pin marks on the elevators. Uh, on the floor there is, but you never see that. And you've got a couple of pin marks here in the cockpit side. Again, you might not see them. You might, I don't know. Uh, but you've got some nice detail ribbon on the inside of the fuselage but you've got one two three pin marks in it as well there's one down here there's a door on the other side that you can have open and look through whether you see this bit here I don't know I just don't know we have to see when we if, if when I put this together it'll be a while before I do that right let's have a look at the other fuselage section right on the inside here Again, we've got the three pin marks here and a pin mark just here. A couple in the cockpit here. Again, all pin marks are on this side, but not where it matters. That's the rudder. Again, it's got that uh, rivet effect on it. Turn it over. We've got, uh, again, nice panel lining all over there's some raised detail on the under section of the centre wing other top section wing here again nice got the ribbon on the ailerons uh, there's some I uh, don't know what they are I have no idea what these pieces are here but we'll find out uh, we've got a bulkhead here nicely detailed bulkhead um, there's something here, I don't know what that is. Again, I have to look through the instructions for that, uh, which I've already been through. I didn't, I didn't notice it, so it'll probably be during the build. 
uh, everything seems to be nice on that as well so let's put them away next section we have are the wings the upper wing sections again nice uh, ribbing on the ailerons uh, some uh, raised detail on here um, panel lines again not that deep like I said it's just my knife just skips out of them so they're deep enough to take a wash but not too deep uh, some pin marks on the underside which we won't mat there is some detail on the engine nucleuses at the top that's probably the wheel well bottom ends uh, or top ends or whatever you like to call them oh there that's nice again and they'll come with a small detail um, this is where the mold line comes into it it is there is a small mold line on this but not terribly big um, the propellers are nice and sharp which is nice uh, engines got some nice detailed uh, fins on the engines probably take a wash nicely in those uh, under cabbages all in one piece the seats here you've got open and closed seats uh, so I have bits and pieces, superchargers and that on there, other bits and pieces, there's a tail section here that goes on, uh, small bit of flash on that one there, very minute, probably would come off with a bit of, um, uh, bit of a sand, just a couple of rubs and it will be taken off of there, now let's turn this over here. We've got a nice wing spar here to hold the wing straight. I wish they thought of this during the um, Hercules, when they built the Hercules up. The amount of trouble we had the wings breaking the back half of the fuse, uh, the two halves of the fuse was breaking away with the weight of the wings on it. <coughs> Could never get that strong enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, a little bit of bulkhead there, it's probably the nose bulkhead. Mm. Yeah, all in all, very nice, not too bad. Again, there's just that one tiny bit of flash I've found so far. Uh, again, we've got another bulkhead here with detail on it, one side only, so that's probably the rear bulkhead. Uh, another bulkheads here, here, which are. Um, which is the cabin, I hope those go on the back of there so then because there's pin marks on the back of these ones here I'm hoping they go they'll be covered up when we come to build it again we've got the blunt ended propellers here again detail nice and sharp no mould line to, to feel um, um, weight on wheels as well, nice uh, engine cowlings on here it all seems to be very nice it's nice and clear and sharp uh, as you would expect with a new tooling uh, the flarings they seem to be nice as well pin marks there's hardly anything in the pin marks at all the doors again nice no pin marks in the doors uh, instrument panel is bare instrument panel is absolutely flat but we've got a decal to go on to that so I don't know whether they make a photo etch for it but it wouldn't be worth it it just wouldn't be worth trying to get a photo etch for this um, you will never see anything on the inside externally um, I know Ed I do do external um, photo etch sets for extra stiffening panels and all that sort of thing um, that would be worth it for it but that's about all. I wouldn't suggest buying anything else, really. Unless you're doing something different with it, <laughs> of course. Right, that's all the plastic parts there. And there are one, two, three, four, five grey plastic trees there. I'm going to pop that one side. I'll have a look at the. Uh, parts now in a separate bag um, 
clear parts have got distortion in them uh, I'm looking at them they, they're actually crystal clear but there's a bit of distortion but then again it is a 70 second scale one and uh, they seem to be alright there's no uh, sync marks in the windows which you sometimes get with airfix especially the older ones but they seem to be fine they're going to be quite nice so I'll put the pictures up at the end of this vid for £10 I'm happy with that I am very happy with that for a tenner I, yeah, I think that's worth it well worth the money a tenner I won't pay any more for it <laughs> ah well that's me so that's it for the Dakota Mark IV uh, hope you enjoyed this here's the photos for me and Carla which is she's eating her dinner at the moment so uh, see you all soon bye for now